It's six o'clock in the morning, or how many kilo are we? Pokhara ke liye. After spending two wonderful days in the beautiful city of Kathmandu, man to bol raha tha ki aur ruk ja bhai. But we had a long trip planned ahead, so we hit the road again early in the morning. We are at uh, Thane Court right now, and uh, officially we are leaving the Kathmandu Valley and proceeding towards uh, Pokhara now. Kathmandu to Pokhara road trip takes you through some of the most scenic and culturally rich areas in Nepal. A total distance of 200 kilometers might sound less, but we were told that it will take about 8 to 10 hours to reach Pokhara. Following the slow traffic, we drove on. This bumpy road going down the hill offers panoramic views of the Himalayas, including Manaslu and Ganesh mountain ranges on the horizon. Time uh, 7:30 हो चुका है और we stopped over at uh, a place for now we say for breakfast. ब्रेकफास्ट के लिए कुछ देर रुकने के बाद हम फिर चल पड़े पृथ्वी राजमार्ग 174 किलोमीटर लंबा हाईवे है जो नौ बीसे को पोखरा से जोड़ता है सन 2011 में सिंधुली हाईवे के उद्घाटन से पहले यह काठमांडू और पोखरा की ओर जाने वाला एकमात्र सड़क थी ये नीचे त्रिशूली नदी बह रहा है और यह है रास्ता का कंडीशन और धूल मिट्टी खाते हुए हम जा रहे हैं पोखरा की तरफ Driving along this highway, I was taken aback to come across Manokamna Temple's entry gate. Although I had heard about this river temple, I had no idea as to where it was located in Nepal. This is one of the oldest temples in central Nepal, dedicated to Goddess Bhagwati, an incarnation of Parvati. After construction of this ropeway in 1998, the arduous journey to the temple, which used to take several hours, can now be completed in just 10 minutes. Watching the cable cars fade into the distant cloud, I felt that people were literally being transferred from this material world to the spiritual world above the clouds by this ropeway. Silently, I said to myself that I would definitely visit this temple in my next trip this side of Nepal. Located at the heart of one of the busiest highways of Nepal is this transit town of Mungling. This highway pit stop is about 110 kilometers from Kathmandu city and 90 kilometers from Pokhara. यहाँ से हम राइट की तरफ रोड लेंगे आगे से जो कि पोखरा जाता है और लेफ्ट की तरफ आकर बीतता है इंडिया वी आर क्रॉसिंग द त्रिशूली रिवर राइट नाउ एक बार फिर धूप निकल चुका है अच्छा लग रहा है हमको Road conditions in Nepal, just like its weather, is unpredictable, and driving on this highway presently is like a roller coaster ride with stretches of smooth paved sections at places and dusty rough road at others. As we drove along this road winding through the valley, we were spellbound by the magnificent landscape, lush green hills. and pictures villages on the way ye hai dhumre 
बाजार और आगे से हम पोखरा की तरफ ना जाके लेफ्ट लेंगे बांदीपुर की तरफ तो हाय गाइस, नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज डे फोर ऑफ आर ट्रिप टू नेपाल एंड इट इज ऑलमोस्ट 11:20 इन द मॉर्निंग आफ्टर कवरिंग ऑफ 145 फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स एन आइडिया स्ट्रक माय माइंड सो इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रेक द मोनोटोनी ऑफ ड्राइविंग ऑन दिस रफ एंड डस्टी रोड वी डिसाइडेड टू टेक अ डिटोर एंड विजिट एन ऑफ पीट डेस्टिनेशन इन सेंट्रल नेपाल विच इज बांदीपुर सो लेट्स गो एक्सप्लोर बांदीपुर नाउ दुमरे बाजार से केवल आठ किलोमीटर के चढ़ाई पर बांदीपुर है जिसे नेपाल में पहाड़ की रानी के नाम से भी जाना जाता है और बांदीपुर जाने वाला रास्ता वास्तव में बहुत ही सुंदर है Perched on top of a hill and off the beaten track is this charming little town of Bandipur. It overlooks the beautiful valley of Trisuli River and on a clear day various snow-clad peaks can be seen from here. This is a place to slow down, savor the crispy air and relax in the lap of nature. And on our way downhill we stopped at this road bend having a huge lingye ping or swing it was time for a little masti so it's 12:30 in the afternoon and we've reached uh, bandipur uh, 1000 meters above mean sea level you can see it in fact uh, on the spur line and my friend you this is busy enjoying the lingeping or the swing which is generally put up during the dashera festivals sadly by the time we reached bandipur the mountain ranges were no longer visible due to cloud cover so now we are heading off to pokhara which is around 72 kilometers from here and it should take us about 3 uh, and a half to 4 hours The short excursion to Bandipur was a nice experience and we were all charged up again to take on the rough and dusty road towards Pokhara. Hungry as a wolf, we stopped over for lunch at around 1:45 in the afternoon and tried out a typical Newari dish comprising of flattened rice, meat and soya bean. Ta koi baar to and when we were tired of driving we took turns to lay back and relax in the rear seat of our vehicle idamoli ho yo driving on this highway can be quite tedious progress is slow 
So, if you are short on time, flying is the best option. It takes only 30 minutes to fly from Kathmandu to Pokhara and numerous flights operate daily on this route. Vini Tal has reached here and Pokhara is about 20 km away. As we approached Pokhara city, we could see the distant mountain ranges come closer and closer towards us and our level of excitement grew with every passing kilometer. Driver change. Now I am ending it with this. Welcome to it was a bright and sunny evening when we reached Pokhara city at 4 pm. We had finally reached the tourist capital of Nepal. As we climbed the hill where our hotel was located, we could see Pokhara city below, lit beautifully by the evening rays of the sun. We finally reached hotel Siddhartha Garden Ayurveda at 4.20 pm after driving for almost 10 staggering hours. Located on a hilltop about 7 km from Pokhara city, this hotel offers stunning views of surrounding landscape. This is the room. Very nice. जैसे ही सूरज दूर सितेच पर डूबने वाला था, हम प्रसिद्ध फेवाले और मनमोहक माचापुचरे चोटी को देखने के लिए होटल के ठीक ऊपर स्थित व्यूपॉइंट के ओर बढ़े। Situated on the banks of tranquil Feva Lake, this picturesque city of Pokhara offers magnificent views of towering Annapurna Range and iconic माचापुचरे, also known as the Fishtail Mountain. So after uh, traveling for around 8 hours in the rough and dusty road between Kathmandu and Pokhara, we reached uh, Siddharth Hotel. Uh, it is overlooking the Pevatar Lake. And the parking is in the middle of the road. There is a park in the middle of the road. There is a lot of water. 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 We were extremely tired that evening but couldn't hold ourselves in the hotel after seeing the glittering lights of Pokhara city below on the valley floor. So, we set out towards Pokhara city. And this was Azul. But dinner got around so no need. I am like information. 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 आम अन्य फिर फिर ही भोली बयान आला फिर बिरख खास संगत आखिरी बानू लाइन तो और उधरा फिर बयान को पूरा आई नहीं लाइट थी कि ना घेरे जोड़ नहीं आई ना तो The main attraction of Pokhara at night is its lakeside area, which is flanked by beautiful shops, dreamy cafes, restaurants, and pubs. After roaming around for some time, we had dinner and headed back towards the viewpoint near our hotel to capture Pokhara at night in its full glory from above. Driving in the Himalayas on the dusty winding road passing through numerous valleys, picturesque villages and crossing many rivers is a unique experience. Road trip in Nepal is an adventure in itself. So, 
that's it for today guys and until the next one bye